Hello, my vivacious Virgo, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, if you haven't had a chance to check out your June readings, your love bonus, your moon reading, all that great stuff, they are all up on my channel. Please do check those out. Otherwise, please do like, subscribe, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell since I will be putting up new moon readings and July readings, and you do not want to miss those. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get in here and do your weekly reading. We don't do reversals on the weekly readings, but we do on all of the larger readings. So let's see what we've got going for you here and get started, shall we? All right, so we have the world card, big cards there, the lover's card, all right, and the three of swords. So let's see what we've got here. Looks like, okay, so something has recently come to you um, kind of a full circle for you. This is a world card. Um, so whatever you've been working on, if it's a work project, if it is a relationship, um, I feel like it's come to a successful fruition. Okay. So for some of you, this could be something where, you know, you have completed a, um, you know, a phase, uh, I, with the looks of these other cards. Okay. And in, in respect to the other cards, I feel like for a lot of you, what's happened is you have perhaps been looking for a relationship or um, maybe you just haven't had one and one's popped up but I do feel like it's kind of like you have completed that process of perhaps finding someone that is a completion of you okay so possibly someone that's very um, you know you feel very good for you right a successful completion of that part of the relationship puzzle okay so if you've recently met this person or you soon to meet this person and they kind of give you that feeling like wow this is the one i do feel like that's what this is it's kind of like that is the process that you're kind of completing because this lover's card is letting you know that it's something where you are getting into a relationship right a serious relationship um more so than you know you've been in maybe in a while or maybe more so than you were even bargaining for maybe this came out of nowhere or maybe this was something you were looking for and by finding it you're like finally oh my gosh I've been searching forever for some of you for others of you you're like I really wasn't looking for it but bam here it is and wow it came without even looking so I've completed that piece and here I've got a lover right so either way I definitely see love in your future someone's love on the horizon here um, but we do see the three of heart, uh, three of swords down here. So this is typically usually a heartbreak card. Okay. Um, now that doesn't necessarily mean that this is related to these other two. However, I do feel like, unfortunately with the way this is falling, I do feel like this is something that is probably very much related to these. I hate to say that, but I just read what I see. Okay. So I do feel like for many of you, this is a short lived relationship. I do feel like it's one you're going to enjoy. Okay. I do feel like it's something you feel really successful about in the beginning. Um, I do feel like it's something you're going to enjoy. You're going to have fun with it. Right. But I do feel like it's something that maybe, um, you know, just, it doesn't end the way you hoped it would perhaps. Um, and, you know, it could be adversely to, uh, we'll have to see how it kind of plays out with the other clarifiers here, but this could also be something where perhaps you are the one who advocates the end of it and you're the one doing the heartbreaking. So it doesn't necessarily mean you're the one with a broken heart either. So, you know, keep that in mind too. Um, but I do see kind of like, you know, the beginning of a, a successful um, completion of finding someone the time spent with someone that is enjoyable and relationship wise. And then I feel here that there's an ending to that, um, not in a super positive way. So let's see what your challenge card is. Um, and it, you know what, it could be an ex could be your challenge. If you've got a recent ex or somebody who's a real one that doesn't want to let go or one that likes to meddle or cause problems, that could be what's going to happen here. Let's just see. No, Ten of Wands, okay. So, burdens is your situation. So I feel like what's gonna happen here is just life's getting in the way. I feel like that's what it is. Um, honestly, here, you know, what I think is, is you're too burdened. Uh, again, whichever one of you, and I'm not sure, but as we get the clarifier, it may be more clear, but whichever one of you does break it off, um, there will be 
a heartbreak here. So one will want it more. It's not going to be 100% mutual, is it ever? But um, I think this situation here is just going to be burdens, okay? Get in the way. So I think the thing is, it's just life is going to get in the way. I don't see anything that is like, you know, we don't have devil energy here. We don't have anything like that. I'm not seeing an X here like I kind of was anticipating, to be honest with you. I think what's happening here is that um, one or the other of you is just too busy. It's just too much. Maybe one of you has more, wants more out of it than the other one does and can't commit as much time. So it doesn't work out, but it's definitely one of you is looking at it like, okay, this is getting to be too much. It's almost a burden rather than a joy. Okay. Um, because we just have too much going on. Right. Um, so that's kind of like, you know, if one of you might have kids and the other one doesn't or vice versa, and it's just like, okay, this is, I'm, I've got a whole plethora of things I've got to do and you're just over here floating around wanting to make me your entire universe you know it's it's a lot easier for you than it is for me to make time for you you know that kind of thing so I think one of you is going to kind of start to feel like this is more of a burden than a relationship and I think that's just going to be the issue here but let's go ahead and get the psychic deck here this is uh we'll get this on the world card and see what we can find out here hopefully this will give you a little bit more insight and uh, see what we're looking at. But I definitely feel like it's just really, it, it's not anything nefarious. It's not anything hardcore. It just looks like it's just not going to work out based on, you know, life's just getting in the way. One of you may be a bit too busy with work, you know, or you work too much or too far away, you know, something like that. Moving on. And I definitely think that's what this is. I truly feel like this is about you're moving on with a new relationship. The way this is falling together, I feel like this is something new. You're kind of moving on with a new relationship and this is like again a successful completion of finding a new person um even if you weren't looking necessarily you know bam they're there um and for those of you who have been looking or have been kind of open to the idea or interested or even actively searching i think this is like wow finally someone i can move on with right but again you know it's just, i don't think it's going to be a short-lived kind of situation this is the moon bed let's see what we've got here on the lover's card and the burden, <laughs> the burden card, <laughs> the ten of wands, I apologize. Uh, let's see here what we've got. But I definitely feel like that's just, you know, one of you may be too busy, too much going on in your life, family, work, what have you. I don't see anything, like I said, nefarious here. Really dramatic, honestly. Attraction. So again, I feel like there's an, you know, it's an immediate attraction. I definitely feel like that's not the problem. I definitely feel like there is definite attraction to each other, um, similar things, things like that. But I do feel like with the burden situation, I feel like one of you is more drawn in, okay? More drawn to the, that person, the other person, than what the other person is able to um, provide, okay? I feel like one of you is so attracted to the other one um, that you're able to provide time, effort, and energy, and all of those things, and the other one is just not able to reciprocate, okay? Because it's just, they have too much on their plate, right? Just too much. Life is too much for them right now. And while they would maybe like to, it's just not there, okay? So it's just, it's just a matter of just maybe timing even. Um, but at this point, I just feel like that's what's kind of causing the issue. I don't feel like it's a lack of attraction. I don't feel like it's anything else. Like I said, I don't see anything super nefarious. I don't see anybody really being a problem. I don't see any of, you know, the stabbing in the back situations. I don't see anything like that. It's just more like, you know, it's going to be a nice, fun little bit of time, maybe a summer fling situation. But then when summer's over, you know, it may just be too much kind of thing. Um, but I definitely feel like, you know, one of you was more interested in kind of taking it further than the other one was. One of you is more okay with it being over than the other one was. And there's going to be a little bit of, of a heartbreak there. But, um, you know, again, I don't see anything where it's, you know, a, a, a mean, a malicious type of thing in any way. So I don't see anything that's going to be a harsh, like, absolute destructive thing for anybody involved. This is a general advice card here. Let's see what we can get on this three of swords. Maybe it'll set um, some clarification for us. Alrighty. Let's see what we've got here. Let's close that up for you. Okay. So you are the joy seeker. What little victories can you celebrate? And I do feel like what this is saying to you is whether or not you are the person who is the one whose heart gets broken that you're more interested, you're the one with more time, 
or the other way around. It doesn't really matter. What this is telling me is that, you know, you need to seek joy, okay? Follow what you feel you need to do, okay? Find your joy in, in whatever it is. So if this is short-lived, even if you know that it's not going to work out the way you want it to, enjoy it while you can, right? Find the joy in these little victories, right? That's what it says. What, you know, what little victories can you celebrate? So this, this small relationship, it may only last, a, you know, a month or something, right? Let's say, but what's, what's the line is Lord Tennyson is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all, right? So enjoy what you can find the victory in it, right? And if you're the person who really does get your heart broken because you were a little bit more um, into it or you know you wanted more and they just weren't able to work you in based on you know just too much on their plate right now timing what have you um, you know just try to look at it like this you know it was a good experience maybe you learned a lot maybe you met a new person maybe you can kind of remain friends you know down the line maybe right, not right away for some of you but maybe down the line but look at it in a positive way and seek joy. Take that as a learning thing and go forward. Try to find something new, try to find something else, but stay positive about it. Um, and again, if, if you're the one who uh, has to end this and the other person is sad, you know, try to be as positive as you can about it with them, you know, let them know this is just a situation of timing or this or that, or maybe some time, you know, maybe some day, you know, because, I have to do what is my joy now, if it's my family, if it's my job, if it's whatever, because that's, you know, that's what I, I have to do. Just be honest with them because that's what is most important here, right? So either way, you need to focus on your, your joys, your victories, um, and don't let this get you down if this happens to be the side that you're on is the heartbreak side. Um, but I do think this is going to be a fun, uh, you know, throughout here at least, I think it's gonna be fun for you. So do enjoy it while you can. Also 44 and four came up here. So, you know, if the number four means anything to you, perhaps that has some significance, uh, keep that in mind. Um, otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it does uh, resonate with you, especially if you recently met someone, um, might have some kind of keep that in mind, especially if one of you or the other is really, really busy and the other one's not, uh, keep that in mind too. But um, if you do enjoy this, please do like, subscribe, share all the other great stuff. And I hope to see you back soon for your July readings. Bye.